My name is Heidi Sylvestre and I come from the French Alps and I'm a glaciologist so I study uh, glaciers and ice sheets. Glaciers are fascinating, they're beautiful, they're quite mesmerizing in many ways but what I find really interesting about them is that they are reacting to climate change. So in the Arctic things are happening very very quickly. Uh, the Arctic is is warming twice as fast as the rest of the world. And this is because the Arctic is first and foremost an ocean surrounded by land, as opposed to Antarctica, which is a big piece of land surrounded by water. The extent of sea ice is reducing, is reduced every year, and the prediction to when summer Arctic sea ice is going to completely disappear are being brought forward pretty much every year. The Arctic is not like Antarctica, you know, it's not a place that is dedicated to research and research only. The Arctic is full of resources, we're really well aware of this, and the race is already on to actually getting access to these resources. At the moment it's still very tricky to drill for oil or gas in the Arctic, but as the sea ice is shrinking more and more, all these areas are becoming uh, dangerously accessible, I would say not only to drilling but also to transportation and to shipping and the arctic is such a, a very fragile environment the last thing we need is to open this area to all these activities for antarctica um, to me what is the most worrying thing is what we call the ice shelves around the antarctic ice sheet so the ice sheet is a big piece of glacier ice that is uh, on land, that is growing on land and, and constantly flowing towards the oceans. And in some places around Antarctica, in many places around Antarctica, actually, this land ice floats onto the water. So we have these gigantic platforms of ice called the ice shelves. These ice shelves, they are extremely important to the stability of the entire ice sheet of Antarctica. Because what they do, just the fact that they are there, that they are floating, still being attached to the land, they are slowing down all this inland ice, they are limiting how much ice goes from the land into the water. These ice shelves, we are only starting to understand them, we are only starting to understand their structure, what they are made of, how strong they are, how weak they are, and how they are reacting to climate change. But what we're seeing is that these ice shelves, they are melting from the bottom as the water temperature is increasing. They're melting from the top as the air temperature is increasing as well. And eventually these ice shelves, they cannot hold their structure anymore and they collapse. And they just disappear in a matter of a few months. And all these glaciers that used to move into the ice shelves, when the ice shelf is not there anymore, well, these glaciers move a lot faster. And the problem is that all that ice that used to be on land certainly finds itself in the water and this is contributing and will contribute even more to sea level rise. I think climate change is a very good excuse to innovate. I think we have the means, we have the brains to be extremely creative and to really embrace this change to do things in a better way. And I think, why don't we use climate change as an excuse to improve our technologies? And I think we are starting to see this at the moment. Some companies are doing really, really well about not only educating people, but also improving our technologies. And this is what is keeping me extremely optimistic about the fact that we can tackle this. We can get better at it. We can reduce our emission of greenhouse gases.